it's cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down people welcome to vlogmas week one i can't believe vlogmas is finally here so today is currently the 2nd of december i am going to be vlogging all week and then you guys will probably be watching this at the end of the week i think i'm uploading this one on friday so i hope you've all had an amazing start to december really hope one year i can actually do like the proper daily vlogmas i always feel like a little bit of a cop out doing weekly vlogmas um I really feel very guilty like I go to bed at night with that horrible guilty feeling which is a little bit silly but I feel like especially this year I just couldn't handle vlogmas daily and I know that sounds insanely dramatic and I know December is meant to be all about being so happy and excited and everything like that but I am going to be completely real with you as always and another thing I refuse to start vlogmas off with me bloody crying so I'm not going to cry but my life is just kind of a little bit up in the air right now like nothing really feels very settled never actually mentioned this on youtube but my dad isn't very well at the moment so this time of year is just a little bit harder and i kind of just want to be in the moment with my family this year and you just never know what's going to happen so that is kind of the reason i've chose to do weekly vlogmas instead of daily only because i feel like my emotions are kind of like this at the moment and I don't ever want to promise you something that I can't deliver. I'm going to be completely honest and I actually think about this all the time. If I genuinely didn't have all of you in my life and have YouTube as a job, I would lose my shit. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put on a brave face and almost be happy for all of you makes me happy if that makes sense so yeah i'm just very very grateful for you all especially at this time of year i'm always going to be very very open with my feelings as you guys know i'm not going to sit here and pretend everything's fine because things are not always fine in life no one's life is perfect and it would be weird to sit here and pretend that everything's okay so yes but life goes on vlogmas shall go on so Tonight Sophie is coming over, we are going to have a chilled night because would it really be Gemma and Sophie if we didn't have a chilled night? So got the ingredients to bake some sweet potato brownies. I'm really really in the mood to bake but because Christmas is just around the corner I'm trying to be like good for the first two weeks of December. Um, haven't cracked open any biscuit tins yet or any celebration buckets yet so once they're open... Uh, can't stand that kind of post christmas bulge so the longer i can go without eating everything in sight the better I just thought i feel like baking something i don't want to bake something that i'm just going to eat all of and it have like 10 million calories in so i was looking online today and i found a really easy sweet potato brownie recipe so i'm going to test it out for you guys to see if it's actually worth making because there's nothing worse than baking something and then it tastes like crap and we're going to do the ultimate taste test as well Sophie thinks it's like illegal to have fruit or veg in any kind of cake and she's tried sweet potato brownie before and she absolutely hated it so I am going to make it today and then when she comes around later I'm going to be like I made some normal brownies and I feel like her reaction will be very honest so that is the plan for this evening I'm gonna say happy vlogmas darling Oh, happy Vlogmas from Tilly. So I've just put my sweet potatoes in the oven because they have to be like cooked, cooled and mashed before you can actually do anything with them. So I thought I'd just kind of like get that part out of the way. Oh my God, also, I found Sophie the best present ever in Sainsbury's, which is bloody cheese advent calendar. Who remembers Cheesegate last year? I haven't seen these yet and this was five pounds from Sainsbury's she is going to be so happy with this she's going to be even more happy that it's sealed and I haven't opened it last year my mum got me one and Sophie was really really jealous of it so I gave Sophie mine but I had already actually been in it and eaten all of the Wednesday day of cranberries this one and I think I ate the red Leicester as well 
and these were the only ones left so she was absolutely gutted bless her so i thought i had to get her this these are all the ingredients for the brownies which we'll make together in a moment but i wanted to show you these which were down the gluten-free aisle i actually made this the other day it was so delicious so all you have to add is ripe bananas and some dairy-free spread it took about half an hour in the oven and it was the nicest banana bread i've ever made and then i also got some brownie mix to test out as well i'm not going to make that one today i'll save that for another day but i just thought these would be fab if you really enjoy baking but you don't really like buying all the ingredients or they're being mess or you just want something really quick and yummy to make then these would be brilliant i'm just going to wait for the sweet potatoes to cook i'm having to do mine in the oven because i don't have a microwave because i think they look really ugly on the side um so they're probably going to take about an hour to be honest so once they're out I will get all the middle out, leave it to cool, and then we will come together and make the brownies. Welcome to my little cooking area for the evening. So, I've just taken the sweet potatoes out of their skins and kind of like mashed them up in a bowl. This recipe, I'm now a little bit like nervous of. I think because I just got it off Google, I wanted like a really, really simple recipe that didn't have like 110 ingredients because that's really annoying and expensive. So, I am a little bit nervous because I've just kind of like looked at the ingredients in depth and I'm like this is a weird ass recipe but we'll try it and see what it's like. So I will leave the recipe in the description box below just in case you want to try it unless it's a complete disaster and tastes like nasty. So I chose to do these brownies because they're dairy free and gluten free and I always think when stuff is dairy free and gluten free it's healthier when it's probably actually not. So, so, you need 200 grams of sweet potatoes, which are there. 30 grams of cocoa powder. So, I just got this one from Sainsbury's. It doesn't really say a specific one to use, so I guess any will be fine. But, whenever cocoa powder is in a recipe, I always like to add a little bit more because I think if you're making something chocolatey, it should taste really, really chocolatey. So, I am going to add... Oh, God. I'm going to add 40 grams. Okay, that's... Okay, that's 50. Let's go with that. So I'm adding 50 grams of the cocoa powder, which I'm just going to tip in the sweet potato. And then next, the recipe said to get some nut butter. And oh my God, I was so excited when I found this. It's a pumpkin spice festive little addition nut butter. Could get my words out then. So you need 110 grams of this. And there are 225 in the whole thing. So I'm not gonna bother weighing this. I don't really weigh stuff that much. I kind of just guess and when it looks right, it looks right. So I'm just gonna add like half of this in here. I'm gonna give it a stir first because it always has that like really watery layer on top. Oh my God, this actually smells amazing. There's also a recipe on the back that says to swirl it into porridge, which would actually be unreal. That in there. Bloody hell. It looks like an unreal brownie mix already. So next up, you need two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup. I prefer the taste of honey. I find it just nicer, so I'm gonna use that. Definitely more than two tablespoons. Basically, my top tip is just add more of everything. Okay, so this mix actually does look unreal. I feel like I'm gonna taste a bit, just to see if it needs anything else, and because I wanna see what it tastes like. That literally doesn't taste like sweet potato at all. It's just like very, very soft. It doesn't really have that brownie texture. So this wasn't actually on the recipe, but I thought it'd be nice to add a little bit of texture. So I got some pecan nuts. Pecan nuts are my absolute favorite. And then to add to it also, I got some dairy-free and gluten-free chocolate chip, which I'm just gonna throw quite a lot of these in here because, well, actually, let's just put the old packet in. Why not? It's Christmas. So the cooking instructions are preheat the oven to 180, um, pour the mixture into the grease pan and cook for around 20 minutes. Okay, cool. That sounds super easy. I'm actually dead excited to give Sophie some of this. I feel like she will be a brownie connoisseur. She will know if it's got something healthy in it. And if she can't tell it's got sweet potato in it, then I feel like these are bloody good brownies. Right, I'm now gonna pop this in the oven for 20 minutes and then we will see what it looks like when it cooks. Say hello, Sophie. Hello. Sophie's hung over. This is like, oh my God, this is like deja vu of our vlogmas last year when you were hung over and we did oh, Cheesegate. Yeah. It's after the Christmas party. And it's after the Christmas party again this year. Oh. So I'm about to give Sophie her present, which I showed everyone it earlier. It? Close your eyes. Happily. Cheesecake! Oh, 
No, I haven't been in it either this year. Is it all still there? <gasps> it's sealed. So sealed, delivered. So happy. Joelsburg, Happy <laughs> Wood. Edam, uh, your favourite. More fucking Edam. No, there's not Edam. What? There's Cheddar, Mexicana. How have they Mexicana, removed? Gloucester, double Gloucester. Maybe they watched our vlog of you bitching about the Edam. I think they did. And you were like, fucking original. Oh, look. Edam's gone. Right, are you coming to try some brownie? Keep refrigerated. Oh, yeah. Well, that's where we went wrong. That's why they were sweaty. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you. So, <laughs> you're welcome. Come and try some brownie. Yeah. I want your very honest opinion with these brownies, okay? Because I did a new recipe and I'm not sure about it. Do I need to? Oh, it's warm. warm. I know. It's definitely just come out the oven. What's this bit floating on? <laughs> no. I had like seven different cocktails. Oh, oh, point, cocktails I was... are the worst because you mix alcohol. I was drinking three cocktails at once because all three of them are horrible. So I just got like they all had big straws. So I just got all three straws and put them together and was like, <laughs> drinking tips with Sophie Russell. <laughs> Honest review. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually joking? What is it? Brownie. I'm really confused. Is that soggy? <laughs> what do you mean it's soggy? This is like a sweaty brownie. Wait. Cannon. Cannon doesn't even want to focus on yeah, it. Yeah, because it's so soggy. Describe it's the flavours. Okay. Oh, can it? it does, it's not brownie. Yes, it is a brownie. <laughs> not really chocolatey. Oh, it's not chocolatey. It tastes a bit right. Like it's not. It's got pumpkin spice peanut butter in it. Right, okay, so let me tell you something. It's got one main ingredient <laughs> that you think is a sin. To put in brownies. What? Do you like it? No, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't think I do. It... <laughs> brownies shouldn't do this. Yes, they should. They're gooey. What would it taste like? What? <laughs> Cinnamon? <laughs> it's got pumpkin spice in it. Okay. That's all I got from it. Sweet potato. Sweet potato what? Brownies. No, it's not. The main ingredient sweet potato. Well, that's a sin. <laughs> oh! Three sweet potatoes. Yeah. Cocoa powder, honey, and peanut butter. It's really weird. Mm. I like it. It's really sweet. Mm. But it's very like smooth. It's like gooey. It's like pa it's like um paste. Yeah. What what has happened to me? <laughs> this happened the same thing happened last year. With the cheese advent calendar. Yeah. It's this bloody Christmas party. Do you want me to make our cheese thing now? Are you hungry? Mmm. Are you? Just wants me to pick at? Yeah, I'm hungry and fragile. No. Oh. Do you need looking after? Yes. Okay, I'll make our cheese board. Thank so, you for the brownie. The bra <laughs> Thank you for the brownie. Can I, can I go lay down? Yes. Bye, everybody. <laughs> So here is our favourite, our not so little cheese board. I say this every time. I'll put together a little cheese board and then it ends up being this big. So I can't find the pesto swell hummus in M&S anymore. I'm pretty sure they're just, if they've discontinued it, I'm not happy. So what I do now is I just buy any old hummus and then I just add some green pesto and it pretty much tastes exactly the same. So if you'll be happy because she's got a whole brie to herself. I'm going to try and carry it in one handed. Oh God. Oh. Yeah, 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 that's sick, that's sick, that's sick. We are at, once again, back, back again. Would you like to tell everyone where we are, Soph? Villa Ricky. <laughs> Good 
morning everyone currently getting blinded by the sun but today's a very exciting day because it's our annual trip to Summerhill Garden Centre who remembers the vlog where we came last year here's Soph Hey -ya. Hey -ya. so we're very very excited it's actually taken so long to get here today like we forgot how long it actually takes to drive here from what i remember last year it was so good wasn't it it's like a winter wonderland literally literally like winter wonderland if you enjoy garden centers like us you have to come here like it's so worth the trip i think last time we were moaning about how long it was and then we walked in here and we were like wow so get ready we've arrived isn't it amazing? I know, it's so nice. If you haven't been here before and you love garden centers, please come here. Anyway, I'm gonna show you around. So, in some of your garden center, there's like loads of different sections, isn't there? Like there's yeah. a red section, a gold section, a blush pink section. So we're gonna kind of go around each one, show you what they've got. So, we are currently in the kind of like silvers, <laughs> silvers, silvers, whites, blacks, white kind of i think i said white twice but like th this kind of vibe <gasps> like your frosted like kind of bright vibe so i don't even know where to start to be honest with the there's just so much to show you like it's actually insane this is the best place to come as well for you know on my tree i've got loads of these like branch type things this is the best place to come to get them oh my god look at this reed diffuser i've just found it's got bloody faux fur on it festive frost i might have to get this we haven't addressed the fact i've got christmas nails which canon is just not going to focus on i feel like there's too many glittery things in here so my nails are not priority right now so i got these done this morning to be completely honest when i first got them done i was a bit like mm, not really me but from a distance they look all right don't they do you I, when i first got them done i was a bit like they're a little bit too wild for me but now i'm kind of growing to them canon just really doesn't want to show you them today oh my god how cute is this <gasps> so we're on to like the red and gold section which is over here how insane is this this makes me want to have like a really traditional tree i think next year i might go for red and gold just because you can't really get more festive than that oh my god look at this santa's magic key it's actually quite heavy you know I mean, I'm not surprised it's huge. That's so cute though. And there's loads of just like little different bits like these mirrors, loads of faux flowers as well, isn't there? Also these arrangements that you can buy as well, which I think would be so amazing for a Christmas table. Like I said, a little bit pricey, like 50 pounds, but it's kind of an investment because if you were to buy it and use it every single year, then it wouldn't like be that much of a hit first walked in here i remember last year the first thing that we saw was like a huge steam train and sophie was like where's the steam train and this year it's this beautiful like how amazing is it's like it white and silver. it's like white flowery silver glittery snowflakey wow so we spotted don't mind that noise it's just the train we spotted these christmas eve boxes how beautiful are they there's just so much to look at in here like there's so many little bits that i feel like i'm just missing as i'm walking around there's so many little candles and like reed diffusers my favorite i also just love i just love everything what can i say gonks on a stick where would you put those gonk stick look so cute on each little theme so on the red section the gold section the white section the pink section they all have these ornament things that i told you about so like the christmas arrangement so whatever color scheme you've got you can get a little arrangement to suit that but i just think that would look so nice as like a centerpiece for the table oh my gosh look at this one that is like the ultimate barbie tree oh my god sophie i found my favorite it's this one 
I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice at all. This is like all beautiful rose gold. I love as well how they've kind of got the Christmas tree in the middle and then they have all of the decorations that they've used to decorate it around the tree so it's just super easy to find everything. See this makes me want to do a second tree now because I just want to buy all new everything. What I do love though is last year I actually got quite a few decorations from here and then on this year's tree I forgot about them and I got them out and I was like oh, I can use them for the first time so I kind of want to do that this year. Um, I'm kind of hoping I'm in a different house next year as well. So I'm hoping I can have like two trees. I want like a dining room tree and a living room tree. And I'm always going to be keeping the one that I've got at the moment just because I love it so much. Like my rose gold and pink tree. But I would quite like to have your traditional like red and gold. Don't you think that would look really nice? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just because I feel like you can't get more festive than like reds and golds and all of that kind of stuff. So next year... I feel like Christmas is just going to be times a million. Then, one of my favourite sections is the gold section. I love this so much. I feel like I used to be very much like a silver kind of gal. And now I just think gold looks literally just so magical. Like, I love everything so much. So, we've just come to the little restaurant which is inside some of the garden centre for some food. Because last time we came in here but we didn't eat and we had food envy. Do you remember? There was like loads of people with really nice salads and like jacket potatoes. I'm like, love a jacket potato in the winter. And yeah, we're coming here to actually eat this time. So, this is the menu. I think I'm gonna get, I really, really, really fancy a jacket potato with tuna and mayo. But then I remember the salads that people had last time and they came in them like really big dishes. Yeah. So I just don't know what to have. What are your thoughts? You want all the food? Have they got like a platter? Bloody love a platter. I was thinking this the other day, if I had to pick like one food to eat forever, it'd be like, oh my god, I'm actually getting completely blinded. It'd be like a meze type thing. You know like a meze with your bread, your cheese, your ham. That would be my go-to. But today, I think I'm going to have... I know what you're gonna have. I know what you're gonna have. You're gonna have the bacon and brie panini. Yeah, and I want the chips and Are you actually joking? Are you having that? I know you too well. Honestly, I just saw, I know that you love bacon and brie, and I saw bacon and brie panini, I was like, Sophie is 100% gonna have that. Chips and cheese. Ooh, topped with grated mature white cheddar. That sounds really good. That sounds good. I don't know what to get. Me and Sophie woke up feeling really ill today, didn't we? Like, I feel like poorly, but not poorly enough. Does that make sense? Like, I keep feeling waves of sickness and like I keep going really dizzy. And I think this is like that illness that everyone has every single year. It's like when you feel borderline poorly, but not poorly. So I really don't know what to have. I think I might go for salad because you can never go wrong with a salad. So our food has arrived. To be completely honest, I feel like it looked different last year. So do I. I remember this. I remember this being like absolutely epic and now I'm kind of like, oh, a new cheesy chip. <laughs> I'm buzzing with it. <laughs> to be fair, it does look nice, but I remember it looking a little bit more gourmet last time. I haven't got no cutlery. Oh, bloody hell. A naughty chippy. Cheers. Cheers. Our belly's now full and whoa. All right, Queen. Queen, be careful. Oh, it's meant to be a hat. This is, no, it's, I don't think it's meant to be a decoration. This is that moment where it falls off Sophie's head and like, it's like dominoes and the whole shop just comes to, just falls down. It's cute. 
Oh my god, it's actually so cute. Do you want a picture? I'm currently on the hunt for some of these because I think these would look really cute like around my tree, kind of like this setup, just to add a little bit something more. I mean, they're either going to look really nice or really tacky. I can't find them anywhere at the moment. Also, another thing, if you are looking for feather boas like the ones I got on my tree, I actually got them from here last year. If you fancy a little road trip and like a cute little day out with lunch and stuff, then here is a really good place. I know I keep saying it, but it's just so Christmassy. Like, I wasn't feeling overly Christmassy this morning, and now I'm here, I'm like, I feel Christmassy. So, yeah, also, I really, really, really love this. It's like a faux fur, like gold ribbony type thing, but I think that just adds so much texture to that tree. But, can you bloody find it anywhere? Oh, look at these pens. Oh my god, cute. These would make a really nice little stocking filler. Ah, we've just found a whole section that we haven't even looked at yet. This really does remind me of the Grinch. This is like elf. This is like a scene from bloody elf. Look at these flower arrangements as well. So pretty. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Where's Sophie? What's she found? What you found? Some big old Oh look at the candy canes. Wow. You need a really big tree to just You would need a really could you imagine that on your tree? Found the cutest little cups with like the little spoon and look at these cookie jars. I want to be faithful but I can't keep my hand out of the cookie jar. My <laughs> hands, my hands. <laughs> Oh my god. Is there any better feeling than getting into bed at the end of the day? Oh, you know when your bed just feels like extra comfy? That is me right now. So, hello everyone. The last time I saw you was, of course, at Summerhill Garden Centre. I was going to show you the bits that I actually picked up from Summerhill Garden Centre on the way back, but the car was just so dark, so I was like, no one's even going to be able to see anything. It also took us about four hours to get home. We left at the worst time possible, at like rush hour, so... It was insanely busy, so I've not actually long been in. It's now 10 p.m. Um, and I'm just about to go to sleep. I got in, had something really, really quick to eat, had a quick shower, took my makeup off, and now, of course, I'm in bed. So I just wanted to jump on and say good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Um, and I will show you all of the bits that I got tomorrow. But yeah, I really hope you're enjoying this week's Vlogmas so far, and I'll see you in the morning. Night! Just love being in the way, don't you? I've only been out for an hour, Tilly. You can't be that needy. Right, Tilly, if you'd like to move your bum, please. Hello, everyone. I've got a super needy cat this afternoon, clearly. So, I have just spent the day. I got ready this morning. I've been filming today, so I've filmed two videos and I've got another one to film tonight. I just popped out to my mum's and I thought before I do anything else today, I need to show you what I picked up from the garden centre yesterday. Hello again. I'm gonna run through the bits that I got from the garden center yesterday, um, cause I got some new bits to add to my tree. Also had some really, really good news today. So I might be moving house. You guys know when I moved house last January, January, 2019, I kind of wanted to just be away from everyone and everything. So I moved really, really far out. I currently live in the country. As much as I love it, as much as it's peaceful, it's kind of got to a point where it's just not convenient for me anymore. 
I kind of want to be closer to my family. I used to live in the same village as my mum and dad and sister. And it's kind of got back to the point where I just want to, I just want that back. Like I want to be in the same kind of like city as my friends and my family. Although where I live is only really about just over half an hour away, it feels far. I sometimes feel very, very isolated living here. I feel very like, I don't know, just on my own sometimes. So I have been kind of like dreaming and dreaming about a new build house becoming available in an area that I've always wanted to live. And I was just kind of like browsing on right move. I always look on right move just to be nosy, to be completely honest. I was browsing on right move the other day and a new build house came up and it's the most perfect house ever. This house to me is beautiful, but it was only ever temporary for a few reasons. The decor is kind of like a country style, which was never really my favorite. As you guys know, I like glam, I like marble, I like gray, I like gold, and I've never really been able to like buy things that I really wanted in this house. I've kind of just had to make do. Another huge problem, which makes me sound like a bit of a diva, but I can't have wardrobes. Because the ceilings are completely slanted upstairs, I can't have any wardrobes unless I pay for fitted ones, which I always figured was a little bit of a waste of money. So yeah, the house that I'm going to look at next week is three like big bedrooms, a beautiful kitchen with an island, a utility room. Like it's just so much more me. I'm feeling very, very happy today and excited. And I just, you know, when you get a gut feeling that you feel like it's the right thing to do. I feel like it's the right thing to do. So that's always a huge sign for me. I go very much on gut feelings about most things in life. And if something doesn't feel right, um, I don't usually tend to do it. But if something feels good, I'm like, this is a good life choice, Gemma. This is a good life choice. So I've paid my rent up until January and I could potentially be getting the keys to the new house at the end of December, which is amazing. Like it's the most perfect timing. So that means I'll have like a full month to move and, yeah, fingers crossed everything goes ahead. I will keep you guys updated. I wasn't gonna say anything and then it just felt a bit wrong to like keep that from you. But there could potentially be like moving vlogs in January and like a whole new just decorate with me, which I'm so excited for. Like I just, I feel like it's the right thing. So yeah, I can't actually wait. And another little thing which I haven't told you, I'm getting a new car in January as well. And it might just be my dream car. You'll have to wait and see, but I'm so excited. I've been debating it for a while. I kind of just bit the bullet and went for it. And yeah, so there could potentially be a lot going on in January, but what an amazing start to the new year, a new car and a new house. So yeah, I'm feeling very happy. So if you're wondering why I've still got my coat on, it's because my house is absolutely freezing. It's so cold in here. And this is just the biggest, coziest, most fluffiest coat in the whole world. It almost feels like a bit of a dressing gown. So I don't want to take it off. Oh, Tilly's heard a bag. So of course she's back. She loves bags and boxes. They're like her favorite thing in the whole world. Yep, she's gone to explore. So the first thing I picked up yesterday were these random but you know i like to have a lot of branches kind of like sticking out my tree i just thought these would look so so beautiful i think i'm gonna save these until next year oh my god if i'm in my new house next year i'll be able to have two trees oh my god so these were nine pounds and you get 10 of them which i actually think is really good so they're like a pound each but i just thought these would look really nice like towards the top of the tree kind of coming out so i'm really really happy with those the detailing on these is unreal as well Look, they've got this really sequiny glittery bit here i picked up some of these but if you guys remember these were those gold like dangly things that were around the tree you know the things that that's a great example Gemma. I put them on the ceiling and they kind of just come down like this and i thought around the tree that would look unreal like just for a little bit more of a feature corner so I got three of these. These were five pounds each or three for 12 pounds. And they do these in silver, red, and gold as well. Then I also got some of this that I was looking for. So this was the little, it almost looked like a bit of a garland that they put inside the tree. And I just thought, that's just Tilly in the bag. I just thought this would look absolutely unreal. So close up, it's like this. It's almost like white faux fur and then it's got gold foil in it. And I think this comes out as like a sheet. And I think what they did was they cut it so it was strips about this long and they like wove it in and out the tree and it just looked beautiful. So I got two of these 
and these were six pounds each but to be fair you actually get a lot of material in those so i'm excited to do a tree with this next year i'm not going to put this on my tree now because obviously it's got a lot of baubles on and i think this is something that you'd have to do before you were to put any baubles on. So this will hopefully feature in next year's tree decorating video. And then last but not least, I just picked up some new roses. When I was actually looking at my tree the other day, this is all I do, sit on my sofa and like analyze my tree. I was thinking I could do with some more big flowers and I don't actually have any white ones at the moment. So I picked up three white ones and then I also got just two blush pink ones as well. And these were five for 10 pounds, which is actually so good. I'm about to start filming a cozy festive evening routine, which will be live next week. Um, so I'm just gonna have a quick clear up, have a cup of tea, chill out a bit, and then get straight into that. I kind of piled a lot on myself today. Like three, three videos is actually a lot to film. I know like some people are really weird about this, where they're like, oh, YouTube's not a real job. And all you gotta do is film videos, but it's quite, draining because it uses up a lot of energy a lot of creativity and i don't know after the second video i feel bloody pooped so i am just gonna have a little pick me up maybe some caffeine will help um and maybe some advent chocolate would help too and then i'm gonna crack on I feel like because it's christmas as well there's just boxes everywhere like these are gifts here also it's not quarter to seven the clock has stopped for ages and i've just been too lazy to put batteries in it so it's actually only four o'clock so yeah, I need to crack on. I just thought I'd show you what I've got for dinner tonight. This is a new favourite. So it's half a pack of this coconut rice, which is so nice. Two salmon fillets, half a packet of green beans. And then I've also just put some teriyaki marinade over the salmon and the beans. This literally transforms it. You'd have this on its own. It'd be pretty dry and bland, but just by adding a tiny little bit of teriyaki, it makes it so nice. So then what I'll do is cover this with tin foil and put it in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes on about 180. And once it's ready, it's so, so nice and super healthy. And then I'm also gonna make this really quick banana bread, which I showed you earlier on in the week as well. So all you actually need to add to the mix is three ripe bananas. So I kind of like them when they're like this. I don't like them when they're almost black. Like I think they're way too sweet. And then you just need 40 grams of, this is what I use. I use the vegan spread. It's so nice. It's super creamy. And then I'm gonna add a few extra bits in. So if you wanted just like the normal banana bread, this is all you need. But I am gonna add on top some banana chips. And then I'm also gonna pop some raisins in as well. So you put it in the oven for 25 minutes and then you cover it with foil and bake it for another 20 minutes. Instructions are on the back, but I've had this before and it's unreal. the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled. Happy Friday everyone from me and Tilly I think she's buzzing around me because she's after a treat aren't you that's why you're usually near that cupboard Mwah. So as you can probably tell, I have completely skipped Thursday purely for the reason yesterday I just felt so poorly again. Like each day I keep feeling really poorly then fine, then really poorly then fine. Um, so I pretty much spent all day long on the sofa editing and catching up on bits on my laptop so there really wasn't anything remotely interesting to vlog. You guys will be watching this video in approximately an hour so I kind of like talking to you just before my video goes live. I feel more like in touch with you, as creepy as that sounds. And I wanted to ask really what you would like to see in next week's vlogmas. So I've got a few little bits planned but nothing like really really major. So if there are any kind of like Christmassy bits you'd like me to do or I was thinking as well I was going to include my tanning routine in this video. But I didn't want it to be too long because I've just finished editing it and we're already up to like 40 minutes So I didn't want it to be an hour-long vlog in the mail today in the mail today Why did, oh, oh. It literally reminds me of look what I got in the mail today Do's nuts. My mark actually sent me I think my favorite thing I've ever received because it's just Let me just show you they sent me a Primark Monopoly How cool is that? I didn't even know this was 
an actual thing but it's so weird because the other day i was thinking i don't actually have any board games here and some evenings i just really feel like a bloody good board game so i'm very very excited to play the primark monopoly instead of having the places in london you've got cute things on here like jewelry hair accessories fluffy slippers flip-flops Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play this. And then also, Glamify Fashion actually sent me some new coats, which, oh my god, you guys know I have a coat obsession, but these two coats are so like different and beautiful. I'm gonna try, <laughs> it choked on a bit of my hair then. I'm actually gonna quickly try these on for you so you can see what they look like. Oh my god, they're so stunning. Oh my god, this is like the Christmas coat of dreams. Oh my god, I'm absolutely obsessed. I've never seen a coat like this. So this isn't just any old Parker. This has actually got sequins on it. But they're not kind of like in your face sequins. I feel like they're really subtle. In the right light, they kind of sparkle. So it's just so pretty. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's also so warm. And the sizing's really nice as well. So I got this in a 10. And it's still quite oversized. So it's just really, really lovely. The best part, look at this bloody hood. Oh my god, I feel like I need to go to like Iceland or something. This is like the most perfect Christmas market coat. Could you imagine this with like an all white outfit, maybe some white joggers, a nice white cozy jumper, some trainers, or you could also dress it up as well and wear like all black. Oh my god, before I even try this on, this is fleece lined. It actually feels like a dressing gown inside. <gasps> Do you know who I feel like in this coat? I feel like I'm channeling my inner Cindy Lou Who. This is like one of those coats. I feel like I should be in like an American Christmas movie. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So my lovelies, that is gonna go ahead and end Vlogmas week one. I really, really, really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, leave a comment below of what you would like me to include in next week's Vlogmas. So please tell me you've watched the trailer for you too. You too. A series on Netflix called You. There's a second season coming out. And if you haven't seen the first season, then I would highly recommend it. It's so good. I'm actually going to re watch it tonight because I feel like I like to re watch things before the new season comes out. So, yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. If you haven't seen the trailer, definitely watch that as well. It looks so good and joe looks even more creepy in this one as well so don't forget i've got a triple upload this weekend so tomorrow morning at 9 a.m i have got a new in b m poundland tk maxx another kind of come christmas shopping with us video and then on sunday i have got a christmas lounge underwear haul and it has some amazing pieces in so i'm super excited for you to see that so i will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m i hope you will have the most amazing weekend love you all so much bye Make it a Christmas memory